Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. Now in this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and see how to customize your home page. So as you can see here in this particular image, you can see that you have a quarterly performance thing, which is a like a graph. And then on the right hand side, you have a assistant information. Then you have a today's task and then you have is it today's events, right? So this is how the look and feel of the home page looks like. Now, if you go back to your lightning UI, you can see here like a service application or if you even go to the marketing application, the home page is the same, right? You have a quarterly performance, you have assistance information to do the today's stats, events, the recent records, etc. So all this is what is the home page. Now, if you go to a sales application or to a service application, the it's the same home page. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to go ahead and customize our home page. Now, how to do that? So let's say we wanted to move this quarterly performance at the bottom rather than on the top. So let's go ahead and see how to customize your home page. So the first thing in order to customize your home page is you have to go to this setup and uh, you have to go to this search box here and in the search box look for app builder. So the first thing you have to look for is the app builder and under this user interface there is this link for lightning app builder go ahead and click on this link here now you can see here this is the easy way to customize your lightning pages okay you can go ahead and customize different things let me go ahead and increase the size to make it a little bigger so now if you go ahead this is the lightning app builder now as per the definition this builder provides the easy to use graphical interface to create custom lightning pages for your lightning experience UI and as well as for the mobile application. So if you want to customize your pages or if you want to create new pages for your lightning UI, you can use this app build. Now, the first thing what we're going to do here is go ahead and click on the new. So what we are trying to do, we are trying to customize our home page. So we are trying to customize this thing. So first thing is you're going to go ahead and hit the new button. Now it'll ask you, are you trying to customize the app page or a home page or a record page? And we will take a look at all three of this in the upcoming tutorials. Right now we want to customize the home page. So go ahead and select the home page from here and then go ahead and click on next here and then label it as so you can go ahead and uh, say new home page let's say we want to make it as my tutorial rack okay so this is the new home page and then hit the next button now there are two ways either you can use a standard home page template or you can clone the default page template that we have. So we already have that template, which I'm talking about the default one. Either you can do that or you can create your own. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and uh, standard home page template here and then hit the finish button. So this is the standard home page template. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and customize our home page. So what will I do is I will move the quarterly performance this is what the performance thing is right so this performance thing i will move it on the let's say here this is the chart i wanted i don't want it on the top i wanted to move it on the left hand side okay so this is the performance thing so what you have to do with these are all the different things that you can use if you wanted to let's say have a chatter feed available so you can drag and drop the chatter feed from the left hand side to these components Let's say you wanted to go ahead and look at the recent items, you can go ahead and drag that one over here. If you want to look at the recent records that you have looked at, if you want to display those, then you can move that thing here, recommendations, report chart, etc., events, tasks, trending topics, all these kind of things. So whatever you want to do it, what we're going to do is we're going to move the assistance information that was on the right hand side we will move it over here so this is going to be the assistant information the performance would be at this side and uh, 
let's say the chatter information, I will move it here. Let's say I wanted to move the chatter information here, all the chatter updates. And uh, what else we want to say? So let's say the today's task, we will move it on here. So this is what it will display now. So these are all the things that you're going to see. So this is how we have customized our page. So these are the new things that we want to add. So you can see here we have moved the assistant information on the top. Then quarterly performance is here on the bottom. And then you have is these chatter feed. If you do not want that, you can just go ahead and click on this cancel button and it will remove it from here. So if you go ahead and click here, it will get rid of it. And let's say you wanted to move something else, you can move it here. So let's say you wanted to go ahead and uh, put the recent items or recent records. So you can go ahead and select, let's say you want to put the recent items here. Or you want to, let's say you want to get rid of that and you want to put, let's say, the recent records that you have seen, then I'm going to put those. So this is going to give you the recent records here. So this is the page that I want. This is the new home page that I have created. So once you have provided all the information, whatever you want to do, go ahead and hit the save button. Now, once you have saved it, you have to make it active. You have to activate it. Okay. So that the other users are able to see it. So you have to activate the page. So once you, what do you do here now? You have to go ahead and activate it so that other users can see you this new home page that you have created. If you do not want to do that, then you can click on this not yet. So activate this page to make it visible to your user. So we're going to go ahead and hit this activate button. And it is asking you, do you want this page to be the default home page means for everything or you only want it for specific profiles? So let's say I do not want this to be the default home page for everybody. I wanted to make it only for specific profiles. So let's go ahead and select this radio button. So if you wanted to set this home page across all the different profiles, then you will select this option. Otherwise, if you want to do it for specific profiles, then you will select this option. So go ahead and hit the next button. Now, which profile do you want to make this page for? So let's say I want this home page only for system administrator. So you can go ahead and look for system administrator and select the checkbox next to it. So this is the profile that I want this home page to be available for. So everybody, every user who has a system administrator profile, they will be able to see my custom home page. So now if you go ahead and hit the next button and then this is the activate. So for this particular profile, for the system administrator profile, the users who have the system administrator profile, they will see the new home page. So no longer there will be this quarterly performance on the top. We have moved it on this left hand side. So now if I go ahead and refresh it, let's see what happens. Now if I go back, let's try to go to different applications. So it gets refreshed. You can see here, if I go to the service applications home page, assistant information is here. There's no today's task, so that's why. Quarterly performance comes here, and these are the recent records. Now, if you look at some of the records, let's say if I go ahead and take a look at some of the records, then those recent record sections will be visible. So if I go back and uh, take a look at some other records, then you will see those recent records. So if I go to the home page now, you will see that these are the two records I have recently viewed. So now it shows me those records over here. And then this is the quarterly performance information. And this is the assistant. If I go to another application, let's say I go to the marketing, the same home page will be visible to that as well. So you might, it might take few seconds to update that home page. So do not see, do not worry that why my home page is not getting updated. It might be because it just takes a little bit of time to refresh it. So if you do a couple times, it'll basically update your home page. So you no longer will see the older home page. You will see this newer customized home page. So everybody based upon a particular user, you can customize it for specific profiles or if you want to make it across the whole organization, you can do that as well. If you want to do it only for specific profiles, you can do that as well. So now if you go to, let's say the sales application, you will see the homepage is 
changed now. So if you can see here, this is the assistant information, this is the today's task, etc. So this is how you customize a home page. So what did I do? I went to the setup, I clicked on the setup button, and here I looked for the app builder. So here this was the place where I went, Lightning App Builder. And what I did is I created a custom home page. So try to go ahead and play around with that UI, try to move things around. So this is how you customize your homepage. And once you have customized it, you have to activate that by clicking on the activate button.